All right, YouTube. This was a hard one. 1998 BMW 540i goes all the way to 2003. This one was a pain in the butt. Um, sorry, guys, but I'll, I'll walk through the details how to open your door when your actuator um, goes out. Um, I couldn't open it from the inside or outside, even you know, even though I was pulling this, mm -mm, would not work. So what I had to do is take this apart <coughs> right here. It's actually a 10 millimeter. Where is it at? It goes right here. Let it go. Well, the part is just right there, and it has a hinge, so pull it, okay? Because I broke mine. Um, yeah, it's a 10 millimeter. The parts here. One of these right here. And then to actually get the um, the panel out, which is over there. You literally have to yank it. But first, what I did, I took this um, thing that goes around it. I don't know what they call the rubber, that cover. So, pull it from here all the way down. And then there's another half here, all the way over here, which you can see right there. That's the other half. Now, I still couldn't open the door, even though I was pulling this. I looked it up on YouTube. Nobody has it. So, I'm making a video of it. So as you can see guys, inside there, let me do it, turn it around, all right guys, all right, okay, there's his teeth back there, way back there in the middle, you don't have to push that, I did it with this one, as you can see him, I pushed it, I guess you gotta flash this down. Chrome. Let's see if I can put it for you guys to see. So I might get a shoe hole. I guess it's not holding today. There you go. So, the actuator is back there. But what I did, I pushed it, and then this rise up, and it stay up. And that was the only way I can open the door. So I opened it. Now we're gonna go change the actuator. So to change the actuator, remove this one. This one right here. This one. And I recommend losing this cable up. But make sure, this red cable, you see right there? See that one right there. That one right there. Because um, to get this thing out, the actuator, the whole thing. Um, let me go ahead and start doing it. Alright, so it's a T30. They're all the same, alright. All the same. So we can get to the actuator. You can see the actuator is right there. See that box right there? That's the sensor we're trying to change. That one in there. That's the ones that push it up and down. Remember, see that cable back there? Pull it from the behind, do not grab it with anything else. And then that white thing comes out. Okay, hold on guys. All right, so I got the cable out. What you do is go behind it right here with a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, right there. Pull it up and then you pull it by hand right here, okay? Be gentle, you do not want to mess with the cable because the one that pulls the door, or the door handle. All right. All right, so I loosen up the screw for the um, door so we can get the actuator. And there's this was this one right here holding it right there, so you can see it right there, guys. So you can use your fingers and then be gentle because you need to put that back. Hold on. All right, there it is. That's the one we're trying to change. It's kind of difficult. That's the way it comes out. It slides down. There's another cable that holds it. This little black one right here. Another one right there. So, you know, be gentle when you guys do it. That's the what controls the actuator. So, let's take this off. What you want to do is... Both of my hands. Oh, man. I should start using my GoPro. Hold on. 
All right, so what you want to do, so you guys can see, is push down, see how it raises up. There you go. And it should come out. All right, this is the old one. So what you do is just start pulling it up slowly, back and forth, back and forth. I couldn't record at the same time. And then um, one hinge goes there, the other one goes in here. Okay, let me go back. Right here, and another one, another one, and the little one comes and goes right there, guys. Okay? So you can see right there. See? You can see that now. Let's try it. <laughs> see if it works with that. Alright, guys, let me try it with my key. Right now it's a uh, lock. Oh, see? It works. It's working. Yeah! You can go to the junker and get these guys, push the lock, there you go, see, works fine. Alright guys, let me put everything back and um, hopefully you guys like the video, sorry it's a big mess here, but if I could do it, anybody can do it, you can do it yourself. Um, you will break pieces of your um, door panel, uh, but everything is glueable, you can go to the junker or get, in, you know, if you have the money, you can buy new ones. Um, me, I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Let me go ahead and put this back and show you guys it still works. All right, guys, I put it back. So you slide it in. Make sure you have the unlock, the thing that goes up and down. In first, I just slide it in. You put the screw there. Pretty simple. You know, always by hand batter. Remember that red wire back there. We got to put it too. You slide the white thing inside and hook it to the side and then you push it down. And then we gotta put the yellow one. Remember we got it out of from back here behind. This is all the door is actually missing a piece. See? We gotta put this one back together too. And so we just put it like this. Like this watch. Like that. And that's it. Just like that. Okay? Just like that. Slide it in. All right, guys. I'm, and let's try it out again. It should be unlocked right now. And let's go ahead and lock the car. So you guys can see we fixed it. There you go, baby. It went down. And then that's one door, two, all four doors. All right. Let me put everything back. Hope you guys love love the video. Sorry, it's a mess. Remember, you gotta go from the inside. Tear this apart, pull it, pull it, take this big piece out of here too from the back seat, the big on seat too. Believe me, it is kind of hard, but once you get to it, remember you gotta push that crumb thing inside that pushes this up. That's the only way you can open the door. You will make a mess, break some things like it did, but everything is fixable. You can buy it, eBay, junkyard, go to junkyard all the time and fix all the stuff for these beamer. All right, guys. Hope you love the video. If you have any comments, questions, I'm free to hit me up. Subscribe. I'll be doing more videos, all right? Peace.